this is Crunch Star, and today I am still messing with Machine and Bitwig. I got a few more things that's actually pretty cool about it. Uh, I wanted to, to show them off for, for both my future self, if I forget uh, that you can do these things, and to show this off for everybody else. Uh, so first things first is that uh, we got a little setting here that's input and output. Uh, basically, they have this MIDI setting over here. And you can specify what gets the actual host input. So the stuff coming in from the MIDI uh, going into the machine software. Uh, so so basically I have a keyboard set up. And as you can see down below, there's there's the keys here. And it's sending the, the MIDI signal to here. Otherwise, you can just sit there and, and do this and then click on... And uh, you can use both the sequencers in uh, Bitwig uh, and the sequencers in Machine in tandem. So if you got something outside that you want to bring in, uh, it's it's possible to do. But if uh, if you don't, don't worry about it. It's got its own internal sequencer. Speaking about internal sequencers, uh, let me get back to it. I think it's on this one. I have one loaded right here. Uh, pretty cool little beat here. I like it. I want to do something with it. So I can sit there and grab it and actually drag it onto another track and it will render this pattern or this type of thing onto this. So now I can, I can sit here and just turn off machine. And it will play the, the the audio. I can cut it up. I can put it into other stuff, um, like take like say loop mix or something. I could put it in there. Uh, I could save it. I could ch make it chops or do whatever I want to do, um, and and process it further. So so that actually is is really really cool. Um, you can also this one's to right here will do it for the audio. This one will do it for the MIDI. And what it does is it generates, and I, I placed it over here, but it generates the MIDI for all the all the tracks. Now the the reason why there's there's a, a bunch of tracks in here is because it does it for one of each of the groups that it has. And you would think that it should only do one MIDI because it's it's like one uh, style of pattern here, but in reality, each one of these is actually a full piano keyboard. It's just using a, a default. Uh, like a uh, um, C3 or something here. Um, so every one of these actually has a piano roll and you can move them up and down and it will change the pitch, obviously, of like the claps and stuff like that. Actually, I need to turn, turn it back on. Here we go. So that, that clap right there you heard is, is a little bit pitched up. So realistically, um, when you want to kind of export this stuff, you're actually exporting several different MIDI um, files together uh, and not just the SEP sequencer. It's kind of frustrating, uh, but overall kind of, you know, it'll, it'll if, if it's already a free, uh, pattern that's in there, um, you know, it, it, uh, it kind of works. Uh, you can also group them all together. So there's that also. Uh, one of the additional things is that you can always pipe the MIDI out to another track. So I want to I want to say that uh, I want the incoming MIDI. Here we go. The incoming MIDI here. I want it to come from Machine Two, uh, and then Machine Two has the outgoing uh, of the uh, you could say the group or stuff. If we hit output. Uh, and then on the sound, you could click on the mid here and you can say, hey, I want this one and this one right here to out actually go out. So we're, we're going to prime this for record. We're going to hit record here. And now I got the track. 
uh, for Bitwig. And then you notice that the, the, the ones that I moved up uh, in this one right here. So the, it, this is an actual identical. So you got these two that are off and that's these two right here. And then the rest of them are on the, the uh, I think it's a C3 line. Yeah, C3. Uh, so you can actually record the, the MIDI from it, or you can send it to something else. Uh, so let's let's use like Massive X or something. Ah, uh, kids in the background. Okay. Going on our next journey, we have... Um, you can also use MIDI to switch these patterns, but I have not yet been able to get it to work. If you go into here and edit MIDI change, you can do trigger, and you can say MIDI note will change it. Uh, but uh, not really sure uh, how well that works. I haven't got it to work. Also, you can always use Bitwig's new 5.1 uh, Filter Plus and Sweeps to, to get the ultimate. Change the characteristics a whole lot and make it either sound a whole lot grittier, uh, dirtier, uh, or like you have a whole trunk full of groceries in your car and you're just blasting stuff from the room down the, the hall. Uh, either way, uh, really cool stuff to, to, to be able to play with. Um, pretty interesting times with the, with the uh, 5.1 toys uh, to be able to mess with them um, and also the ability for my ability to be able to play around with... Uh, all the, the patterns and the sounds that, that I, I, I purchased originally two years ago but couldn't really take advantage of until I got a, I got machine too. So overall, pretty cool for me. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And uh, I will catch you later.